for our background for this experiment, we know that copper 2 sulfate is an established catalyst for oxidation of zinc by hydrochloric acid. We also know that the initial velocity of H2 increases. Um, additionally, copper and ion are involved in a process called leaching, which remains essential to hydraulic fracking. Um, furthermore, going into the experimental process, we knew what our possible options for catalysts were. Some were not used for difficulty of acquiring such metals. Moreover, salt could be used as a catalyst because it could donate electrolytes. For our procedure, um, our procedure was to react one gram of zinc with 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid with our three catalysts, which were called copper 2 sulfate, ferric oxide, and salt, or NaCl. In this experiment, we can determine the rate of the reaction with our various catalysts by in the dihydrogen collected every 30 seconds. Um, for our average results, um, we did three trials of of each of the varying catalysts, um, but our results from the experiment demonstrated a clear distinction between which catalysts were the most effective, which is iron 3 oxide as outlined in the yellow dotted line. As the data displayed for most of the catalysts, the topping off point was roughly 500 seconds and after this time, the rates began slowing dramatically. During this experiment, it is important to note that our experiment continued until all reactants were consumed. Um, full consumption was determined when three consecutive 30-second interval readings showed zero change. The catalysts were fully leached, which was evident watching the catalyst containing... The purpose of this experiment was to find the reaction rate in milliliters over a second squared for the catalysts. Um, the catalytic factor used to describe relative rates of reaction involving different catalysts. Um, we also would like to mention unitless, like specific gravity in relation to density, um, except in the discussion of rate. As displayed in the table, iron 3 was the most eff effective catalyst followed next to our surprise by sodium chloride. Copper 2 slowed down the reaction rate actually, um, and even more so than without a catalyst, um, also to our, su our surprise. Um, after reviewing our results and analyzing them with our chemistry knowledge, catalytic function was not dependent on empty d orbitals. A suggestion to other teachers who may be interested in this re reaction would be advised not to use zinc and hydrochloric acid because of how quickly the reaction moves and also inadvisable to use copper 2 to catalyze fracking. Additionally, the common ion effect proves important in the process of this experiment. Um, Although it's usually applied for equilibrium reaction, it, I think it's significant here. Furthermore, the hardness of the ions may play an important role in this experimental process, which leads to the ability for the iron to accept or donate electrons. Um, to conclude, in the classroom, each group um, we would recommend should conduct a um, reaction with one catalyst. We did spend um, the full time that we had in class, which was um, two hours and 30 minutes, and um, we thought that it was important to do multiple trials. We did three. Um, so definitely in a classroom environment, we would recommend that each group would work with one catalyst. Um, Especially, this would be important for students so they can collectively um, do the tables and graphs um, together. Um, this is a great experiment because it teaches single displacement, redox reaction, catalysts, sharing data, group work, like I had mentioned, um, rates, gases, moles. Um, 
And for future studies, we would recommend repeating the reaction with other salts. Um, it worked surprisingly well when we got to class. It wasn't until our TA, Jeff, had mentioned um, that we should try salt. So we did, and it worked really, really great. Acknowledgements. We would like to acknowledge Sean, Jeff, and Matt, and our classmates, and the University of Iowa facilities.